We are a long ways away from where this truck exploded. If you look down the street here, you'll see yellow tape and then behind that a hook and ladder truck. That The uh, truck that blew up, the semi truck that blew up, is on the other side of that hook and ladder truck. And they're keeping us far away, maybe 500 yards or more away, because there's still a risk of another explosion. Let me show you some pictures, live pictures now from Sky 5 HD. And firefighters are also staying far away from this truck because there's still, again, concern uh, that it could blow up. Another, another tank there could blow up. I heard from a security guard in this area. He tells me that pieces of metal from the initial blast actually landed maybe a half a mile away from where that truck is. So that tells you how powerful the blast was. We actually have some pictures to show you what the explosion looked like. This is video from somebody's ring camera. The explosion created a fireball. One fire department spokesman says the flames were huge, maybe 20 or 30 feet tall. This began before 7 this morning. Let me show you some pictures of the aftermath from Sky 5 HD. The initial call was that a semi truck was on fire here. Ten L.A. City firefighters responded, and they were work working to put out the flames here for about 10 minutes or so. This truck, this semi truck, was powered by compressed natural gas, which is a highly flammable material. The truck was carrying two 100 gallon tanks of CNG. One firefighter tells me it's possible that the firefighters on scene here were not able to see the placards that would have identified this flammable material on board the truck because the truck was burning and there would have been smoke and flames. But a fire department spokesman says one of those tanks suddenly blew up. This is again about 10 minutes after firefighters arrived on scene. A total of seven firefighters were hurt in the explosion. They were taken to Harbor General Hospital. Two are in critical condition. That explosion was significant. The ball of flame was as high as the cell phone poles and it actually uh, did explode one of the transformers nearby. Uh, tragically, that explosion injured at least seven of our firefighters. Obviously, a small mass casualty incident, tragically, of our own members. When you have over seven patients, we had to quickly uh, start to triage them, determine the most uh, severe, and uh, get them transported for more definitive care on scene. We do not know what happened to the driver of the semi-truck. Fire officials say what happened to him is unknown. The fire department strategy now is to let the fire burn itself out. One of the tanks or cylinders of CNG is leaking natural gas. So that material, that CNG is dissipating or burning off. The hazardous materials team is here and the plan is to wait until it is safe to get any closer. They're keeping their distance back to our Live pictures now from Sky 5 HD. Hazardous materials teams are also on scene here and they've been taking measurements of the air quality in this vicinity. And so far they say there are no indications that uh, there are any hazards or that the air poses any kind of risk to folks who live in this area. We're gonna get another update from the fire department at 11 o'clock. They're going over to Harbor General Hospital. So at that point in about an hour's time, we'll learn a little bit more about how those injured firefighters are doing at the hospital. We'll send it back to you.